Welcome to Java Forum. Now I am going to show you how to install Open JDK 21 on Windows 11 operating system. So here you can see that I have downloaded the Open JDK 21 as a zip file from uh, Open JDK website. I am going to extract uh, the content to one directory. Okay, so I am extracting to F colon. Okay, so extraction is completed. So this is a extracted directory, so, and this is the directory structure of Open JDK 21. So bin directory contains all the executables and uh, DLL files. So directory structure, I did not see any changes here. Okay. So conf directory, include directory, and jmods directory. So jmods directory contains all the modules, that is all the Java packages uh, necessary for development. Okay, so lib directory. Okay, so on the release file, so release file you can see the vendor names, implementer, whoever are implementing this uh, JDK project, etc, etc. Okay, now I am going to set the java underscore home environment variable to this open JDK 21. Okay, so this PC, right click properties, advanced system settings environment variables so here you can see that user variables and system variables under system variables only I am going to create the java underscore home environment variable because uh, whoever uh, logging to this mission can run the java programs if you create the environment variable under the system variables so I have successfully created the java underscore home environment variable now I am going to add the uh, bin directory bin directory to windows path variable so now i am going to add the open jdk don't you and bin directory to uh, path variable so that all the open jdk 21 commands will be available in uh, windows command line okay now I am going to open the windows command prompt to check whether I can able to run the java commands. Yes. So open jdk 21 is successfully installed in windows 11 operation. I can successfully run the command. Okay. So next very very important step now i am going to show you one simple java model example so i am going to one directory called java module programs which contains modules directory which contains src and classes directory okay so src directory contains the source code for java modules and classes directory will store the compiled java modules so here you can see the two modules are the message module and print module. So each module contains module info.java which is a mandatory file. Okay, so module info.java message module. Here you can see that exports com.java forum which means that message module contains a package com.java forum and it contains message.java. So this is the message.java. Okay. It contains public class name, public uh, methods, public methods. It's a, it is a returning one string. Okay, print message uh, method returns one string. Okay, this is a source code for message that Java. Make sure that class name is public and uh, method return type also public. So print module. So print module also contains one module in for Java. 
so this is the data is about print module it, it accessing the message module requires message module okay it contains org dot java forum package okay we are importing com dot java forum dot message class from message module okay so it contains public static void main method and you can see that message class i am accessing like this then print message i am accessing the print message of message class so the print message should be public okay may i make sure that method which you are accessing should be public okay so now i am going to show you how to compile the module so this is the syntax to compile the uh, module okay first time compiling the message modules it will be compiled and stored in classes directory so th that is hyphen d means destination path module source path means that src folder where the message module uh, sites yes so i have compiled the message module successfully you can see the class files are generated here okay now i am going to co compile the print module same syntax only but i have changed the module name so destination path will be the classes directory and module source path will be the src directory where the print module is, uh, is uh, stored okay so print module also i compiled it successfully you can see that uh, class files are generated successfully okay now i am going to run the module uh which contains the uh, main class that is public static void main method uh, see here hello world java contains the public static void main method so that is a main class file so i am going to run the hello world java okay hello world java from print module so this is a syntax here contains a main yes you can see that uh, message is got printed so this is the way you need to compile the java module programs in open jdk 21